Ever since the GH3 was announced, users have been wondering how important is the loss of the multi-aspect ratio sensor. This video will attempt to demonstrate that. I have taken still images and video with my GH2 that has the multi-aspect ratio sensor and my GF1 that crops the 3x2 and 16x9 ratios out of the center of the chip's 4x3 ratio. You will be able to tell which images are from the GF1 by their colors. I had my GF1 modified to full spectrum for astrophotography, so it has purple colors because of the additional ultraviolet and IR light that it sees. Here is a comparison between the different aspect ratios for the two cameras. As you can see, the 4x3 aspect ratios are identical, the 3x2 ratios are very close, and the 16x9 ratios show a greater difference. However, the 16x9 difference isn't really that great when you consider that the in-camera lens correction can remove almost as much of the picture. These images show the difference between the raw uncorrected image from my 25mm f1.4 lens and the corrected JPEG and AVC HD image and video with the same lens. In my opinion, the multi-aspect ratio sensor is a nice to have feature. However, it really isn't a showstopper for me. The showstopper is the fact that the GH2 really lacks the dynamic range that some of the other cameras have. Hopefully the GH3 will match the dynamic range of my full spectrum GF1 without the distorted colors. My GF1 displays between 1 to 2 stops more dynamic range than my GH2 because the modified GF1 lets in much broader spectrum of light than our eyes normally can see. I would gladly trade the multi-aspect ratio sensor for the much better dynamic range that I expect the GH3 will give me. After seeing these images, do you agree? Let me know in the comments.